Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Blood for Land. I'm playing Resident Evil 5 co-op with my wife Victoria and fellow YouTuber, and if you want to check it out, the link is in the comment section on my pinned comment. And so, we have returned here to our hometown, and as you can see, I'm actually purchasing a couple of pieces of gear for Anouk, because, well, she needs... She needs some stuff, doesn't she? She needs some some better gear. I was actually thinking of getting her some really nice boots, but I think that's kind of a bit pointless. I'd love to be able to get this horse uh, horse shield. No, I no hero's shield, but it's very expensive, and I'd like to be able to upgrade other people. So as long as I can get another horse, I think that would actually be really nice because I would love to be able to give Chadwick another horse. But otherwise, I think that's going to be absolutely fine, and we're going to be speaking to her in just a second as well. Now, we're going to be upgrading some of our units. I'm actually not sure what kind just yet, but I'm going to try my best. Okay, she's using a chipped long bardiche at the moment. I think I'm just going to give her a rusty military pick, just to make her into kind of a heavy infantry right now. I think this polearm is, well, it's actually pretty good. I feel like her not having a shield is kind of detrimental, so we're just going to, you know, have her be pretty pretty beastly when it comes to being able to survive things. Whoa, Chadwick doesn't even have that very good gear either. Oh my. Okay, well, we're going to have to be a little bit careful about that then. But yes, hopefully we'll be able to get them both horses, because horses make a huge difference. Anyway, we're going to be upgrading our composite bowmen here. I'm going to be giving them everything, I think. Because we use them all the time, and I personally feel like that would be the best idea. So, yeah, let's do that. And then let's upgrade our Terma here. I think our Terma would actually... Should... Wait a minute. I see that's the thing. I don't actually know. We don't get monks that much. And we do get longbowmen, but it's only a Veluge. And I don't really think that that's very good. So I'm, I'm thinking we're just going to get upgrades for the Terma, because I do use those sometimes. I think that might be quite nice. Otherwise, I'm actually unsure what I should be upgrading here. Maybe the Scouts? One of you did actually mention that Scouts might be a good idea to go for, because you do, you do get shields for them and things, and that would mean that we could potentially get... Hmm, shall we say a better version of the Axemen? It does cost a lot, a lot more, but it is on a horse, so it's obviously going to be a lot faster to travel across the fields of battle. So that could probably work out quite nicely. Have I? Uh, I don't want the uh, I don't want the Frisian knights' lances. I feel like that's kind of pointless. And what else here? I don't I don't actually use the hot plates at all, but they do have these military hammers and things like that. I don't think that's kind of necessary. Hmm, I actually don't think anything else is necessary. I don't use any of these other things here, which is actually kind of a shame. I should use my Terma a little bit more, and maybe we should upgrade our Sword Militia, but they are very, very expensive, as you can see here. So, we're probably not going to be doing that, but anyway, I think it's about time that we do the next territory, and we conquer that. And I was actually thinking of doing the two-handed tournament, but I... I that's the thing, I don't really want to do that again. <laughs> because even though it is a very, very good way of gaining, you know, cash, and it's pretty easy to gain cash there, I, I don't I don't know whether I really want to do it. I mean, how much money do I have right now? I have 23,000. I mean, that's pretty decent, isn't it? Ugh, okay, I'm going to skip it once, and oh my. Ah, <laughs> oh, isn't that fantastic? The one time that I'm just like, oh yes, we're going to conquer a territory, and it just so happens it's the Bear Mountain range. That's fantastic, isn't it? Oh my. This is going to be very, very difficult. Okay, so, what are we going to do here? Well, Anouk and Chadwick are here. Colborn is not, for some reason. Not entirely sure what he's going to be doing, but let's upgrade these things here, and... Uh, can I can I chop down these trees? I'm gonna try and you know chop down these trees a little bit. I think that's cabbage over there. Is there a cabbage over there on the floor? I think so. Okay, we've established a market now as well. Let's get a barracks up and running when the wood ticks over once more. Actually, our wood is very bad. Our wood production is very bad. I have five skill points. Let's actually <laughs> let's actually use those, shall we? Yeah, that might actually be a nice idea. So let's just level up our Iron Flesh and Power Strike a little bit. Let's get some more Intelligence. And should we get some more in Agility or no? I actually don't know about that. Maybe just more in Intelligence here because Forestry is really good. Gold Mining is really good. And Iron Mining is maxed out now as well. So that's fantastic. Otherwise, what do we want to go for? Well, there's actually not much I can do without... 
compromising things somewhat. So, uh, should I just go for a riding skill? I mean, I'm never, I don't think, going to be getting a horse. At this rate, at least. I could get a shield, but I don't have a shield either, so it's kind of pointless too. Oh well, I'm just going to go for some riding skill and we'll see how that is. I, I don't even know what I'm specking into here with our weapon points. I kind of feel like that's a bit pointless too, but anyway, that's fine. Probably should have spoken to Colborn before we headed in here. Ah, there we go. We can actually do this. Kill it. Kill the tree. Thank you. Okay, so I think what I'm going to try and do is, oh, really? A nook got taken out already? I was hoping that we would be a, a little bit, well, better in terms of survival with our companions now. Because even though Chadwick doesn't actually have anything, a nook has some much better gear than she used to, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Okay, well, let's get some barracks going on there and we'll just upgrade our axemen. I think it's probably a good idea just to spawn in some axemen here. Wait, what's this? Oh, so it is actually a cabbage that I can attack. 14 food gathered from that. Oh, there's Colborn! Colborn, thank you so much for coming in. Yes. He's maybe going to... Uh, never mind. Okay, it seems like he's actually having some difficulties as well. Let's see if we can actually just kill this. Come on, die. Die, monastic fighter. Yes. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. Really? He really parried me? That was that was embarrassing, wasn't it? Okay. Dead. Yes. Yes, dead. Yes, you're very dead. Very good. Okay. So let's advance to the Iron Age. And I'd love to be able to build a keep, actually. I think we might need a keep, so I think I'm probably going to try and do that first. Even though it's probably not the best idea. Oh, no. They have the they have the high ground. Yes, they have the high ground. Oh, that's, that's not very good, is it? That is not... Uh, I think a keep maybe is a little bit too much wood investment for what it actually gives you. Maybe? Uh, I don't actually... Well, that's the thing. I mean, I'm hoping that I can just get as many of the economic upgrades as possible and then just spam a couple of Axemen and then, you know, clear out the enemies and then hopefully progress from there. But obviously there's, yeah, there's an archer up there that is causing us some great problems. So I guess we're just going to have to spawn some Axemen here and there's not much more I can do apart from just wait. But as you can see, the Axemen should prevent them from dealing significant damage to our base, or at least I hope that is the case. Otherwise, what else do we have here? Well, we don't really have much because I haven't got any, any well, I haven't gotten any of the other buildings, so we're probably going to try and do that in second as well, but oh, dodge! Yes, dodge! Dodge it! Ah, uh, no, didn't need to dodge that, thank you very much. Okay, so let's kill that guy, block that, there we go, and he's dead. There we are. These guys are going to be very annoying, aren't they? Yes, they are going to be very annoying. So, let's see what else we can do here. Well, I'd like to be able to build the temple, because that can give me the relic, and that will give me an additional a uh, little bit of gold production. And where do our caravans actually have to go on this map? I think we'll probably just get one caravan just to see where that actually is. Because I think I remember that they have to go up there. Isn't it? Oh my, it is. Oh, that's terrible. That is absolutely the worst thing ever. Oh my. Alright, so... Infantry, can you go over there? Can you go over there, please? Yeah, I'd like them to go over there if possible. Because I would like them to go and help the caravan. I don't know whether it's actually going to work, but I'm going to try my best. The caravan has already been killed. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, it seems like we will not be able to rely on caravans in this particular... In this particular fight. I'm going to tell our infantry to charge in now, because I think they are close enough to be able to make that work. Let's kill this cabbage. Die, cabbage. Yes. There we go. Okay, so, otherwise, let's just get all the economic upgrades if I can. What else do I need? Oh, I need iron. Ugh, of course. Okay, well, apart from that, let's just get the military academy, and we'll get the stable, and the archery range, and now everything should be fine and dandy. Oh, yes, very fine and dandy. Now, let's get the composite bowman upgrade, and we almost have 100 iron. So, it seems everything is working quite well. I mean, we have eliminated quite a few more than they've eliminated of us, so I suppose that's good. Ah, yes, you beat me on the on the parry there, sir. That's not very nice of you. Oh, we, oh there's a nice level. Okay, so I guess that makes up for it. Come on, come on, wagons. What else do I need? Ah, 200 wood? Really? Okay. Well, now we have our upgraded scouts. So this is probably going to make a huge difference to how much we're able to do. Obviously, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save up the most amounts of resources that I can. There's another tree that I can actually hit, so I'm going to go and do that. And there's the last economic upgrade. 
I'm not, I don't think, going to be getting any caravans here. We're not going to rely on our paladins or our monks in this particular level, which is a little bit of a shame because actually, oh, I can't apparently use that. Ah, well, that's a shame. Anyway, yeah, but what we're going to be relying on instead is our Terma units as well as our scouts. So that's very, very food heavy. And then, of course, we're probably just going to be spending our wood and the very little gold and iron that we get on Frisian Knights. Because as you can see, our iron and gold production is basically the same, kind of. So that will be enough, hopefully, over time to be able to get a pretty decent amount of Frisian Knights. I'm going to just spawn about five Axemen here just to take care of these units that are getting a little bit too close to the base for my liking. And we're just going to kill them relatively easily. And then we're going to try and just save up as much as we can. Obviously, this is, the, this is the thing, you see. I'd love to be able to have about 100 food production because that would mean that every, well, it would mean that we'd have about 2,000 food in no time, I mean, literally. But, well, that's okay, I guess. That's, that's absolutely fine. So, yeah, as you can see, our Axemen are actually doing a pretty decent job. Did we upgrade our Sword Militia or no? I don't think we upgraded our Sword Militia, so I think there's going to be a bit of a problem with these archers. Probably should have done that, but I kind of thought that maybe the scouts would be fine because they do now have shields. So, shall we shall we try out a couple of the scouts? Let's try five scouts here, and let's see what they have. Ooh, yeah, they have shields now. They have some much better armor and everything, so hopefully they're going to act reasonably well. Obviously, we do have to go up here and everywhere, and that's great. So where's the iron? Where's the iron that apparently we're supposed to be gathering here? I, mean, I have no idea. But I suppose we're going to be getting a little bit of our composite bowmen. There we go. Get a couple of those. And then we're also going to just... We're just going to tell everyone just to charge, and I'm going to try and get our composite bowmen up here. And let's see what we can do about that. Obviously, what I would like to do is try and snipe these guys. Can I, can I actually hit them from here with our throwing weapons? We might be able to. Where are they? Are they actually... Am, am I actually going far with these or no? It seems It seems like... Oh, 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 it seems like we can actually make it, but I'm being extremely inaccurate, obviously. Because that's just me. Okay, okay, come on now. Come on now. Okay, I have 25 chances to hit these. Yeah, there we go. There's a hit. There's another hit. There we go. Yes, that's what we like to see. There's, ki there's one kill. Maybe we can get another. And another. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can we? Ah, no, no. Ah, yes. You're terrible. You're absolutely terrible, monastic archer. Yes, I'm clearing out your entire party by myself. That must be embarrassing for you. Very embarrassing indeed. Okay, so let's kill that. There we go. And it seems like we might actually have a good chance for us to build a couple of caravans. Shall we do that? Let's build Let's build five caravans. Why not? I know I said I wasn't going to build any, but shall we try? Shall we try and actually get this in a bit of a more defensible position? Obviously, we now have excellent composite bowmen, so they're going to be able to kill anyone that comes up here relatively easily. But obviously, <laughs> it really just depends on how well everyone else is doing and they're not doing very well as you can see they're actually being killed relatively quickly so let's just get build a bunch of other scouts and we'll get a couple more composite bowmen here and i think ah, I, was, I was thinking about frisian knights there you know i was i was really thinking about those but i just uh, i don't know whether that's worth it really is it I, I guess it is kind of worth it but we do have scouts which are technically cheaper but uh, okay let's just go for some frisian knights we're just going to spend everything because we want to just shock them into submission and hopefully we're going to then make it so that we have a clear line all the way to their base because as you can see the composite bowmen are absolutely destroying everyone here they are being killed a little bit but that's that's just it's fine we, we have a couple of reinforcements for them anyway and we have a huge amount of food so let's get a bunch of scouts and then we'll get a bunch of huntsmen as well to follow that up and we're just going to zerg them. We're going to try and zerg them. I know I said in the previous episode, well, actually not the previous episode, I said in another episode of mine that I do like the zerg in StarCraft 2. Well, in StarCraft in general. But that is mainly because of the lore. I actually, I do very much appreciate the lore surrounding the zerg. And I kind of feel like they're a cool, they're a cool faction in that, in that regard. I mainly played random in StarCraft, so I don't really have a preference as to, you know, what I like to play as. I more have a preference 
you know, due to the various lore that they have associated with them. So, yeah, don't, take what, take from that what you will. And let's see if I can just kill these Highlanders. These Highlanders are very, very annoying, as you can see. They seem to be taking out a huge amount of our... Oh, yes. Huge amount of our scouts, which I don't appreciate. Thank you very much. So, let's see if I can... I'm going to get a couple more Frisian Knights here, because I do have a couple more resources to go with that. And as you can see, we are focusing on their keep a little bit. And I'm going to just try and eliminate as many of these guys as possible. Should we get our... Let's get our Composite Bowman a little bit closer. Come on, kill him. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so, yes, our caravans are actually doing a pretty reasonable job right now. And I'm going to try and hit this a little bit. Seems like we might be fine. I mean, look at this. Uh, they're obviously all hitting that, which is kind of... Eh, it's not really something that I wanted them to do, but... Oh, well. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Let's just get a, an overwhelming amount of Axemen now, just to follow up our shock troopers, I suppose you could say. And now we have a bunch of gold, so I guess... What are we going to do with that? What are we going to do with that? Well, I think it's a good idea to get some Holy Paladins. Let's just get two of those, because that will mean that they spawn, what is it, 16 Pilgrims or something? I don't know, but there's probably quite a lot. And I'm probably going to die here, actually. Aren't I? Am I going to die here? Maybe. No? Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, oh, impressive. Impressive. Okay, thank you very much, Composite Bowman. I think you actually helped me a little bit there. I think I'm probably going to get killed by their Tower Archers, though. So, that's a bit of a shame, but what can you do? That's just how it is sometimes. Oh, no, there we go. I got killed by King Boru himself. Well, ah, uh, that's that's a, that's a bit of a shame. Oh, well, never mind. So, what are we going to do here? Are we going to spawn as a Terma? Let's spawn as a Terma because we have upgraded equipment now, so I thought that might be quite fun. And otherwise, what should we do? What should we do? Shall we, shall we spawn some more Terma? Let's spawn some more Terma Horsemen here, and then we'll get a bunch more Huntsmen and all that kind of thing, and then we'll just get some Frisian Knights to follow those up, and I think we'll probably get one Holy Paladin when we get the next tick of resources. Yes, there we go. Fantastic. Okay, so I have a flag here <laughs> that has literally just bugged out a little bit. Okay, so can I, can I actually hit? Yes, I can hit this with this. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so what am I being shot by? These guys? These, are, are you? Uh, okay. So apparently there's some weird stuff going on with the towers. Yes, apparently that's a bit of a bug. Let's kill them. Thank you very much. Kill them all. Yes. At least they can all fall down. Yes. Yes, there we go. Okay, so now they're all free. So now that means all of our units can do what they want to do. And they don't have to get stuck there and, you know, all that sort of thing. So now we can just stockpile all of our resources and then we'll be able to just zerg down whatever it is we need to zerg down which is obviously their base so that's pretty good it actually worked out quite nicely i adapted re well, well relatively well i guess i mean i kind of thought that i wouldn't be using any caravans but it turned out the caravans were actually you know pretty fine because obviously you do have to have a bit of a secure supply route uh, i think i'm gonna die here actually am i gonna die here maybe yeah i think i'm probably gonna die here well that's a shame but, how are our, where are our composite bowmen, by the way? Have they run in or something? I actually don't even know where they are. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Okay, so let's see if I can... Let's get some holy paladins here. And otherwise, I think we'll just get some Frisian knights. And I think maybe... Hmm, we don't have any iron now, do we? So I guess some more scouts will be absolutely fine, because they do have those additional pieces of gear. And then we can get some more wood, too. And I think that's it. That is definitely it. Look at that. We, we actually did one of the hardest levels this easily. I, I don't actually think that we were in any danger of losing here, which is actually kind of weird because I personally felt like the second... I don't even remember what name of the map it was, but the second... What was it? The, the Khans area? Yeah, the Khans area. Stallion's Pass, I think. Was it Stallion's Pass or the other one? Oh, I can't remember the name of the map. But anyway the second ever territory that we conquered, we almost lost that. We actually almost lost that, and I think the Empress was actually a lot harder as well than this, so that's weird, isn't it? That's very, very weird, because you would think that something like this would be a lot more difficult to deal with, because, well, maybe the mod creator has, you know, made Bear Mountain a little bit easier or something, because obviously it was, I think, the hardest level for everyone including myself, 
in the previous version, so maybe it's been tuned down a little bit. Who knows? But what I do know is that the mod creator did actually comment on the previous episode and did say that they are thinking of adding the health region thing that I talked about, which is actually really nice. I, I actually like that quite a bit. And I wasn't trying to say, like, you should definitely do this. I was just saying, you know, it might be a cool idea to have something like that. Because I have no idea how to do any of this sort of stuff, so it's just amazing to me to see these kinds of things being implemented in a game that you think is very, very limited. But it is obviously moddable, and it's just really, really cool to see what is capable of being done. And uh, there you go, 9,000 dinars for our victory there. And we're very happy indeed. Oh yes. There we go. So let's let's visit the hometown. And I'm thinking with the 9,000, we're probably going to try and buy a helmet for Chadwick. I think he could probably use one. Does he... Is there something here that I can actually get him? I could get him this one, I suppose. And is there anything else? Ooh, a Chief's Axe. That might actually be... Uh, wait a minute. How much is that? 2,300? That's pretty decent. And I should probably get him some better armor as well. So there's that, and there aren't any horses here, which is a bit of a shame. But there's 5,800. Is that too much? Is that too much for me to be doing right now? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just let's just do it, because he does kind of need a little bit of a better piece of equipment. And let's get him that, and let's just give him that as well. There we go. Oh, he did kind of need a shield, but I think his shield's okay for now. So we're just going to leave him with that. And I think, what can we do with the, the King of Bear Mountain? I'm actually going to just talk to him real quick and see what he can give us. There he is. Hello, King Boru. Okay, so if I release you, what can you do for me? Ah, this gives me those extra, those extra stats, doesn't it? Increase a man's speed and durability substantially. You have a deal. Athletics and Iron Flesh plus four. That's actually pretty nice because I just imp improved my Iron Flesh by another one point. And so that's going to make it a little bit... You know, we're, we're going to be a little bit more durable, I suppose. Now let's go and get our taxes. And I'm actually unsure what we gain from Bear Mountain now. It's been a while since I've actually taken taxes from there. So let's actually just take a look. Ah, Mountain Cloak. Aha. Uh -huh. So the Mountain Cloak does give us a little bit of... Well, it's not really that good for us, but... It's fine. It's absolutely fine. So there you go. There is another episode of Blood for Land. I'm actually really enjoying this mod, and hopefully we're going to get to see some of the newer missions as well, because obviously I failed the Urix Castle one. But now that we have those, up those upgraded composite bowmen, maybe it's going to be a little bit easier for us. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.